The Ways made their appearance in the Wheel of Time TV show in season one. But because it's an adaptation, we didn't exactly spend an entire episode learning about them. What are they? Where do they come from? Why do they exist? What the hell was that black wind that was just yelling sweet nothings at the crew? Today, in a semi-new series I'm going to start on this channel called Explained, I'll be going through the lore of the TV show, breaking it down, and explaining it. It's crazy, right? Today we'll get into the mysterious and dangerous ways I'll answer all of those questions on Wheel of Time Explained, The Ways. Quick spoiler warning for the video. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of yellow, meaning there will be no major main sequence plot spoilers for the story, but there will be concepts and historical information from the Wheel of Time. This won't spoil the story, but it will spoil some of the backstory, so watch at your own risk. So the story of the Ways started more than 3,000 years before the events of the main novels in the Age of Legends. And it truly was an Age of Legends. Society was completely at peace, the one power and science were essentially the same thing, and because of this, food was plentiful, instant travel was possible, disease and illness had been all but eliminated, and the main pursuits of life were just to serve others as best as possible. Those that had the ability to channel the one power were trained and called Aes Sedai, with men having the ability to wield Sidin, and women having the ability to channel Sidar. Now these were the two halves of the One Power, and with their use, all of the wondrous achievements of the Age of Legends were made possible. However, many at the time thought that the division of the powers made innovation more difficult, and a small group of researchers at the Research University of the Kalum Don in the city of the Seine believed that they had found another source of the One Power just outside of their reach that would allow both men and women to channel the same power, and therefore work more closely together. Unbeknownst to them at the time, this was actually the Dark One, and in attempting to access that power, they opened the Dark One's prison. This began a slow fall for civilization over the next 100 years, where many began to follow the Dark One, and society basically fell apart. This culminated in the War of Power, which lasted about 10 years and saw the entire world at war. With the forces of the Light about to lose, Luz Theron Telamon led a force of 113 men called the Hundred Companions, and a force of more than 10,000 regular soldiers to Sheol Ghul, the place where the Dark One could best touch the world. He did this without the help of the female Aes Sedai as they refused to assist, believing that his plan was reckless. Luz Theron Telamon and his hundred companions succeeded in sealing away the Dark One from the world again. However, because he used Sidene to seal the Dark One directly, the Dark One was able to touch Sidene and taint it, causing all of the male channelers of the One Power to go insane. This ended the War of Power, but it began a period of 300 years or so called the Breaking of the World, where the male Aes Sedai destroyed cities, people, and even the land itself. At the time of the Age of Legends, we know that roughly 3% of the population could channel, meaning that roughly 1.5% of the world's population were male channelers going insane. Now take that in today's figures, not what that would have been, but just today, and you have roughly 116 million male channelers wrecking havoc on the world. Society was completely destroyed, the continents were shifted, the mountain ranges were formed, and rivers were rerouted. It was a cataclysmic event that changed the world forever. For more information on the Age of Legends itself and its fall, check out my video series on the Age of Legends, that'll be linked somewhere up here. But this all sets the stage for the beginning of the ways. Also alive at this time were the Ogier, a race of creatures from another place entirely but that's worthy of its own video. The Ogier during the Age of Legends had served as gardeners for men, and they basically helped grow food for the world. The Ogier had a deep connection with nature, and specifically areas called Steading, which were areas that the One Power could not be felt or wielded, but were extremely peaceful, wooded areas. In the disaster of the breaking of the world, many Ogier were separated from their steading, with much of the population of Ogier dying off in their search to find them again. Now, towards the beginning of the breaking of the world, first hundred years or so, some Ogier were able to find their steading once again. Now, feeling compassion for some of the male Aes Sedai who were not yet taken by madness, they took these men into the steading to live. This allowed the men to not be able to be corrupted by the taint on Sidene, and they were able to live steading in peace. However, the men eventually would leave the steading to see if the taint was still there, and spoiler alert, it was. And as many of the male Aes Sedai left, they determined to leave the Ogier with a gift to assist them in finding more steading and reuniting their people. A group of male Aes Sedai who had studied the portal stone worlds during the Age of Legends 
created the ways for the Ogier as a gift. The ways could be accessed through a way gate outside of the steading and could be connected to other steading as they were found by adding other way gates. They also created a large number of Terran Grial called the Talisman of Growing, which allowed the Ogier to grow these way gates wherever they desired. The way gate was the way to enter the ways, and they were essentially stone doors with intricate carvings on the outside. The way gates were opened by the use of an Avendasaur leaf key that was placed on both sides in the inside and the outside of the way gate. When the key was moved to the proper place, the stone would react like a moving plant, basically, and the vines and stone would move to reveal a shimmering portal that almost appeared like a mirror. Walking through those portals would allow you to enter or exit the ways. Now, way gates were almost indestructible, only able to be damaged by large amounts of the one power, although they could be locked by moving both the inside and outside of Endosaur Leaf to the same location. Now, the ways themselves were a living thing. They were created within a similar realm to where the Aes Sedai go in their skimming, on the skimming platforms. While it isn't known exactly how they work, what is known is that they gave a way for the Ogier to fast travel across the continent. Trips that would take months in the real world could now be traversed in days through the ways. The ways consisted of a network of bridges, islands, and staircases that connected various way gates to one another. Now, these islands contained navigational markers called guidings that could give directions to a desired location. Also on the islands were lush vegetation and fruit trees that could give nourishment to travel as well as grass along the pathways that allowed the Ogier travelers to walk among nature, which is something they love. The ways were lit with natural light that appeared to be a sun, but yet the skies were completely cloudless. As the breaking of the world ended and the people of the earth began to settle into new nations and new cities, the Ogier struggled to find their place in the world. They had always been known for making plants and trees grow, but they discovered they also had a strong affinity for building and carving stone. Well, this was a very useful trait as the nations of men required help in rebuilding their cities. So the Ogier were called and tasked with helping to build many of the cities of the Ten Nations. As the Ogier traveled from their steading and stayed among men while building their cities, they built large groves of trees and plant life in each of the locations that they stay. Now, these large grove areas contained ancient trees that were sung by Ogier tree singers to grow to a great size. These groves were meant to remind Ogier stonemasons of their steading homes. Also, to help facilitate easier repairs when they needed to help or just return home quicker, the Ogier used the talisman of growing and built way gates in each of these groves allowing them to fast travel to almost any city in the Westlands at the time. Some of the major cities that were built by Ogier were Tarvalin, Camelin, Kyrian, Manetherin, Tyr, Malkir, Ilion, Ebu Dar, and Ardhal, among many other cities that no longer exist. In many of these cities, over time though, the Ogier groves were cut down to make room for expansion of the cities, with only places like Tarvalon still maintaining the Ogier grove. What this means is that many of the way gates are either surrounded by other buildings, in basements of homes, or they're walled off to prevent others from using them in modern times. How did the Ogier learn how to do all of this? Well, they probably listened to audiobooks to learn all about it. And uh, the great news is, is that by using this video sponsor, Audible.com, you can learn too. Audible is the world's largest depository of audiobooks and is one of my most used apps. I, I literally don't go a day without listening to an audiobook. I always have one on in my car or while I'm cooking. And if you're new to audiobooks, the Wheel of Time audiobooks are really outstanding. Michael Kramer and Kate Redding, who are legends in the Wheel of Time community, have narrated all 15 of the books. They're amazing. By the way, they're also going to be at WattCon. Sign up for that. But there's a new version of I Have the World Out Now too. that's narrated by Maureen herself, Rosamund Pike. I highly recommend all of the Wheel of Time audiobooks and audiobooks in general. And what's great is, is that because you're a viewer of mine, Audible is going to give you a free audiobook of your choice. Even better, you get to keep it regardless of whether you want to use their service or not. Just head to www.audibletrial.com forward slash nameless, sign up for the free trial, get your book, and decide if you want to keep it. There is literally no downside to it, and if you do decide to keep the service, you're going to get a new book each month for an extremely low monthly cost. I love it, and I've been using it long before they were ever a sponsor. Thank you to Audible, and now let's get back to the video. For roughly 2,000 years, the ways were used as the primary means of cross-continent transportation for the Ogier, and they prospered because of it. However, during the time of the War of the Hundred Years, following the death of Ardor Hawkman, 
the Ogier noticed that the way started to change. Initially, it was just that the light within the way seemed slightly fainter. There would later be reports that travelers in the ways would disappear and not return. After many years, the ways began to dim to the point that the fruit trees and the other plants within the ways started to wilt and die. Then came reports of Ogier emerging from the ways crazy or completely dead on the inside, despite their bodies being perfectly intact. Some Ogier would speak of the Black Wind or Mashin Shin. The Black Wind is a force of corruption that roams the way, searching for any creature that is alive. It will attempt to consume the soul of anything it catches. Unless it's eventually pulled away, the creature will be completely consumed and destroyed by the Black Wind. Those that do escape are not much better off, as they completely lose a part of themselves by contact with the Black Wind at all. The Black Wind is the only source of wind or movement of air in the ways, and survivors report hearing voices of the consumed souls of past victims. Eventually, the stone of the bridges and the islands in the ways began to deteriorate. Some of the paths are completely impassable. What caused this corruption isn't super clear, but it can be traced back to the fact that tainted sidine was used to create the ways. Eventually, over the years, the taint corrupted the once great ways, and it can be he said that the Black Wind could be a physical manifestation of the taint itself. The last way gate to be grown was that of Steading Sofu, which is a rediscovered steading very near to Kyria. This was created roughly 600 years prior to the start of the story, but not yet before the waves had become totally corrupt. However, once it was understood what was happening, the Ogier closed all of the way gates and made their use prohibited. They attempted to hide and cover the way gates that did exist. However, over time, lands that were once of men were overtaken by the blight. For example, the way gate at Malkir was overrun by the blight, and many suspect that the ways may now be used by the forces of the shadow. In the ways now, it's completely dark and black. In fact, the ways seem to soak up light so a torch will not light very far in front of a traveler. Many of the guiding posts are crumbling, as well as the islands and bridges themselves. The use of the one power inside the ways can be unpredictable, as female channelers may feel their weaves being corrupted, although Sidar itself is not being corrupted. The ways are one of the most dangerous places in the Westlands now and should never be used for travel except in the greatest of emergencies. So that was the ways explained. Is there anything I missed? Let me know in the comments of the video. Please also make sure to check out Audible and get your free audiobook. The link is in the description. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I get new Wheel of Time content out to you all. I have tons more lore content coming as well as some more news videos and show related content. Make sure to subscribe for all of that. Thank you to my patrons. You folks are the ones that make all this possible. If you want to become a patron of the channel, check out my Patreon link in the description of the video. That is the absolute best way to support what I do here. Thank you all for watching and until next time.